Welcome back, sports fans. It's game day at the Macon Coliseum, and the Baldwin County Braves are looking for a chance to win the 4A state championship and remain undefeated as they take on Fayette County. Let's check out those highlights from the floor at the Macon Coliseum. Let go! Bring them out, bring them out. The Braves ready to take the floor, and so is Fayette County. They're off to a 5-0 start thanks to moves like this from the Tigers' Terry Brown. Then the Braves answer back with the money ball from senior Miles Balston. Bang, 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 and it's a two-point game. Back comes Fayette County with a two-handed jam a la Isaiah Franklin. Braves won't be denied. Jeremiah Simmons drives to the rack. He called glass. I heard him, and that's a twofer. Then the block from senior Shatavius Hogan on defense starts the ball in transition. And on the other end of the floor, Latavion Roach drains the three to only trail by one at the end of one. Second quarter, Baldwin ties things up with William Freeman. That's a three-pointer. A get in there. Yeah, yeah, and he's just warming up, folks. More Tigers. Terry Brown with the bucket keeps things close. And here's more Latavion Roach. Just a walking bucket. Count it for BHS. Then Big Willie heats up back-to-back -back shots from as far as Millersville and Hardwick. And Baldwin leads by three at the intermission. And they are fired up in the red and black. Fired up, fired up, fired up. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, Baldwin on top by two, and Fayette retakes the lead after the first of back-to-back three-pointers downtown, and it's a four-point swing just like that, putting the Tigers in the lead, 47-43. to The Braves keep mixing it up, though. Rudolph Satcher trains the triple, and it's a one-point contest for the moment. A few passes later, William Freeman drives for a layup, whoop, and it's still a one-possession game with under two minutes and 30 seconds left. Down the stretch we go. Fayette lead it by one, and they miss both free throws. Baldwin gets the rock and puts it in the hands of William Freeman, and no doubt the biggest shot of his life would be this one. The game winner with 3.7 seconds left on the clock, and that's how it ends in the Macon Coliseum. 54-53, to Baldwin on top of the 4A classification as the 2020 and 21 state champions. Here's Coach Anthony Webb and William Freeman after the big win. Well, you know, I've been, I have been thinking about a play, and like I said, eight, the last few games I put it in William Freeman's hand, and I told him once he come out the pick, he could drive and pull up and shoot it. He did it, and he he didn't he didn't disappoint. Every year we always come in here and watch all the other people play, but we always dream it was gonna be our turn. It's been a minute since we won one. Everybody doubted us. Everybody believed that they was gonna win, so we had to believe. Everybody plays the team. I couldn't do it without them though, man. I told you, I'm 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 happy. I'm so proud of these kids, man. I just. I just don't really know what to say, man. I'm at a loss of words because they've worked so hard. And this is what they've been wanting to do. A lot of these kids was talking about, you know, they, when they were little, they used to come over here and watch games. And now they get an opportunity to play in the Macon Coliseum and to play for a state championship. You couldn't ask for a better ending for these kids. We ran a play called Double O, where I come off the screen. And then it would depend on what they was going to do off of it. So I got it. And they, nobody was in help. So I stepped in, knocked it down, and won the game. From the Coliseum floor, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports.